Hi, so I had to think long and hard about this one, not because of the video itself, but because of the prudishness involved. So we'll have to get over that urge to have a schoolboy giggle about it, because I think the idea is pretty useful. There's loads of reasons you might want to make a piston and piston cylinder. This is a fairly traditional one and it's sealed by using an o-ring against the piston cylinder wall. And they're a nightmare to make. If you don't use o-rings and use piston rings, then you have to have some pretty talented machining capability to be able to do that. And not a lot of us have that, not a lot of us have the machines to be able to do that. So the problem is, getting a piston that's pretty slack to move in a cylinder so that we can make engines out of it. So things like water engines, um, air engines, steam engines, that sort of stuff. Now this traditional O-ring seal is in fact only one way of sealing pistons. And for ages they, called, they used something called a top hat seal. And actually it's been called a top hat seal, it's been called a rolling diaphragm seal or a rolling seal. And what it is, is a sleeve of rubber placed over the piston, I can't resist giggling, because I can think of something else where you need to put a sleeve of rubber over it and it goes in and out with regular motion, which is what a piston is. So what I've done is I've gone and bought some of these, some condoms. These are extra safe, which means that they're thicker, which makes that they're stronger. I also got the lubricated ones, it was probably an error, I should have got the unlubricated ones because I'm going to make a piston out of a bit of pipe and a bit of wood and the fitting in there is incredibly slack so there's no way that would work as a decent piston because it's just too slack, everything's going to blow around there so we need to make a seal on that. Now a top hat seal, take our condom out We have the nipple facing upwards, a bit of super glue on the top, and pop on the condom. Now condoms are made out of latex, so that's going to glue really, really well. Now I've used a condom because I could just buy it, but you could make a rolling uh, latex seal by using a um, mould that you make out of plaster of Paris, dry the plaster of Paris, pour some latex in there, and the latex will thicken up depending on how much time you leave it. So if you pour out the wet latex and leave it to cure, you'll have yourself a rolling seal to fit the piston and cylinder that you might actually want to make. But we're going to use a condom. And as we unroll that, then we can put it into a piece of pipe. Now I've cut a piece of pipe right here. It's just to length and I've put a cap on the bottom that I've sealed with some butyl rubber and then a pipe. And all I have to do is put my condom coated rod <laughs> sorry, into there and then unroll it onto the outside of the pipe. So it's in the pipe about halfway, it's about there, and because these unroll in a certain direction, we need to re-roll it, but in the opposite direction like that until it's rolled up, and we can take it out of the pipe, and now we need to roll it back on itself. So the piston's at the top, the condom goes down the piston, back upside inside the piston cylinder, and then comes back out here where it's lying there, and now we can tape that up to make it seal. And I'm just using electrician's now tape. Now we've sealed it up, we can put this cap back on, and then we can give it a try. Okay, now if I gently blow on that. <laughs> now, the tighter the fit the condom, the better it works. Luckily, our condoms only come in one size, or so I'm told, so finding a match for the condom so that it's uh, laying tightly against that would be a good idea. But that's how you make a rolling seal. And if you don't fancy the idea of condoms, of course, you can always just make one from a plaster mould and some latex. Anyway, I thought I would share that rather interesting but bizarre idea with you. I hope it was of help to somebody. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.